Hello and welcome to Pacesetters 21 for 21 with Library Plus. Welcome back and this video is one for the kids and families but anyone can get involved and today we're going to focus in on the theme of gratitude. So our first key message, gratitude is great for well-being. So gratitude is all about being thankful. Um, and I don't know about you, but some days, maybe if my day isn't going very well, I find it really hard to see the good in things. It might be that all the things that went wrong or all the negative things stand out. And actually, there might be lots of positive things there, lots of things that have gone well, but I don't focus in on those. Some people say it's really helpful to write down at the end of each day three things that they feel thankful for. It could be something that made them laugh, something that made them smile, something that went well. Um, and people find that really helpful to do. You can even do it as a family. Um, you could even have a gratitude jar where you write those things down and pop it in a jar. And then maybe um, it, on a Sunday, you look through all the things, actually all the good things that happened that maybe are easy to forget. So a couple of ideas there. And what we're gonna do today, I've got two actions for you. Um, and so you've had your key message, um, gratitude is great for our well-being. And um, I've got two actions for you to get involved in, okay? So you will be able to see um, a, um, a link to a worksheet. Um, and this worksheet is one that you can download. Um, you can, and don't worry if you don't have access to a printer. Um, you can um, ask an adult um, or you give it a go um, just to try and um, create the template that is on the worksheet. Um, you'll see there's two worksheets, um, so there's one where it's just got one pair of glasses on, it will all become clear in a moment, and then another one where there are two in case you do want to print them at home. So as I said, get others involved, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to create your own pair of, I've created my own, grateful glasses, or you might want to call them sunny specs this is something we use a lot at pace setter trying to look for the positives in things so it doesn't mean that we um you know pretend that we feel good all the time we don't and nothing like that but it's more about just being able to spot the things that make us smile and sometimes when we're having one of those days maybe one of those difficult days as i said it can be easy to see all the things that went wrong whereas actually within every day there's often something um, that did go well and it can make us feel better just to really look out for them. Um, and these um, these grateful glasses or sunny specs, and if you can come up with any other ideas, please do um, let me know, I'll create your own. We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to post on um, your library social media page or to contact us at Paysetter. We'd love to see um, what you create, okay? So that's the first thing, to get creative. And it ties in really well, actually, with Children's Mental Health Week, which is taking place at the beginning of February. And the theme for this year is called Express Yourself. Um, and they're encouraging um, people um, to um, you know, get creative and whether it's through poetry, through writing, through dance, through drama, photography, art and crafts, whatever it might be, music, um, they're encouraging people to express themselves because it can be great for um, great for well-being. Um, so I'm asking you to get creative and get, get those arts and crafts um, um, resources out. Don't worry if you don't have much at home, um, you can use whatever. I didn't have any elastic, obviously it's great if you have elastic for these. Um, I didn't have any elastic so I found um, a couple of lollipop sticks. Um, you know, whatever you have at home, pens, um, you know, stickers, whatever, um, anything goes. Um, but yeah, create your own. So that's your first action. Your next action or task is um, I would like you to wear them. And you might feel a bit silly on your daily exercise, going outside wearing your grateful glasses. Um, but you can give it a try or it might be in the outdoor space near your home or it might be even that you just wear them around your home. And the idea of this is that sometimes it can, as we said, um, we can forget to see the good in things. And this just reminds us, okay, what, what is the, all those amazing things around us, okay? So for example, if it's outside, it might be a tree that you walk past every day, or it could be a tree in the garden or out, outside your home, but we just don't spot it because we're so busy and distracted by other things. It could be the birds in the sky. It's not just the things that we see, but also the things that we hear. You know, it's thinking of our other senses as well. 
I'll give you an example. Um, I was out on my daily exercise with my husband and my little girl the other day, um, and um, we noticed there was a robin. Um, so we were walking along, and this robin um, kept following us. Um, so every time we walked on, it would fly over to the next tree, and it was amazing, um, and it gave us so much joy, and we couldn't believe it. Um, but if we'd have been busy looking at our phones or distracted, we may not have noticed it. So sometimes we have to really look out for things. It could be in the home. So for example, I've got lots of photos on the wall in front of me. So it could be that, you know, you look at, um, you know, oh, you know, think about, um, you know, special times you've had with family or friends. Um, yeah, anything goes with this, okay? So I'd love you to get creative, create your glasses, um, and then, um, yeah, as I said, wear them and look out for lots of positive things, lots of things that you feel really grateful for and thank you, thankful for.